hey guys today's problem is bulb switcher 2 we've seen bulb switcher 1 it's the riddle problem i posed just before this there're going to be two more parts after this so we're going to have a total of four bulb switchers or bulb games however i think this one is the hardest one bulb switcher 2 so let's have a look at this problem bulb switcher 2 there are n bulbs in a row labeled 1 to n very similar to the previous question however they're initially turned on all the bulbs are on when a bulb changes state from off to on or on to off it is said to be flipped so whenever you flip a bulb its state changes there are four bulbs on the wall each having a different use button 1 flips every single bulb button 2 flips every single even numbered bulb that is the bulbs numbered 2 4 6 and so on button 3 flips every odd numbered bulb 1 3 and 5 and button 4 flips the state of every bulb numbered 3k plus 1. That is the bulbs 1, 4, 7, 10. So you start from 1 and keep increasing it by 3. You are also given an integer p. If you try every permutation of pressing the four buttons exactly p times, what are the total number of unique final states? In other words, say p is 4. There are many ways in which we can press the buttons. We can press the first button four times. We can press the second button four times. We can press the first button twice and the second button twice. Or maybe we can press each of the four buttons one time. So we've got to try all these combinations and list out the number of unique final states we get. What is the final state? Let's have a look. Say our input is two and the total number of presses is one. As we can see here, we've got two bulbs that are initially turned off. Now we've got one press and four buttons. So let's try pressing each of the buttons once. So what does the first button do? Flips the state of every single bulb. So every bulb goes from on to off. This is the result if we press button one. If we press button two, every even numbered bulb flips states. So this third state you see right here, that's the result of button two. If we press button three, this is the result. And if we press button four, this is the result again. That is, the first bulb is off and the second bulb is on. These are the total number of unique final states. That's why our output will be 3. Say we had 3 bulbs and 2 presses. What would the total number of final states be? So after one press, these would be the results. If we press button 1, all the bulbs will turn off. If we press button 2, all the even number bulbs will turn off. If we press button 3, the odd numbered ones will turn off. And finally, if we press number four, all the bulbs labeled one, four, seven, and so on will flip their state. Here, since there's no fourth bulb, just the first bulb flips its state. Now, remember we're pressing it twice. So from each of these states, we've got to press it one more time. It looks a little complicated, but just bear with me. If we press the first button from this state, all the bulbs turn on again. If we press the second button from this state, our even numbered bulbs flip states. If we press the third button, the odd numbered bulbs flip states. And if we press the fourth button, this is going to be the result. Now, if we press all four buttons on each of these states, we will only get these seven unique states. There will be other states, but they'll be repeated. So we don't count the repeating states, which is why our output will be seven if our input is n equals three and number of presses equals two. Now, guys, the screen's open. You can have a look at the question and pause it. And I will also scroll down to the explanation so that this is open as well. You can pause the screen wherever you like. Head on to our coding link below, navigate to bulb game two and solve it for yourselves. Once you're done, head on back. All right, guys, let's try to break the problem down a little. Let's say we were to have only one button, only button one. That is, there's only one button and its only purpose is to flip the state of every single bulb. In that case, what would happen? Regardless of the number of bulbs, regardless of n value, there would only be two states, on, 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 and off, 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 off. Every time we press button one, it flips between those two states. As we can see right here. Regardless of the number of bulbs, there are only two unique states that can be obtained. Now let's say we only had the first three buttons. There would be only a set number of final states, regardless of the number of bulbs. The first final state will be where all the bulbs are off. The second final state will be where all the bulbs are on. The third final state will be when every odd numbered bulb is off. 
and the fourth final state will be where every even numbered bulb is off as we can see right here so from this state regardless of which of the other three buttons we press we will reach one of the other states in other words these four states are cyclic we can always reach one state from the other and we can never reach a new state this is the total number of possibilities so now we've established that the total number of states depends on the buttons themselves it doesn't depend on the number of light bulbs is this also true when we have a fourth button does it throw a monkey wrench into our plans or can we apply the same logic try to figure that out and once you're done get on back all right so if you have a look at your screens you can see that this is the total number of final states we can never have more than this many states here we can see the progression from three bulbs that are all initially on if we press all the three bulbs once we can get four states if we press the three bulbs twice we can get seven states if we press it thrice we can get all eight states we can't have any more than eight states eight states is our maximum now you may be wondering if we enter a number that's greater than three is there a chance that we miss one of these states let's say our n value is five we start from the initial state and let's say we push button one once all the bulbs go off let's say we push button one again now all the bulbs turn on now we've got three more presses and we know in three presses we can reach all eight states now say n is six first we push button three in order to make every odd bulb off then we push button two and then we push button one so we return to our initial state and we've got three more presses in three presses we can reach our final state every p greater than or equal to three will return eight however there are few exceptions to this rule say we've got only two light bulbs now in this case since there are only two bulbs the total number of states is 2 power 2 which is 4 we cannot have eight states so when n is equal to 2 we've got to look at the number of presses if there's only one press we cannot reach this final state that is the state where all are on so our output will be 3 if n is anything greater than or equal to 2 all four of these will be our output also if n is 1 if there's only one light bulb there are only two states that is on and off so our output will be 2 straight away this is the code right here so first we handle the exceptional cases that is if n is 1 and n is 2 if n is 1 directly we return 2 the states are on and off if n is 2 we check the p value if we get only one press then we can only reach three out of the four states we can never reach on on but if p is anything greater than one we can directly return four we can reach every single state finally if n is greater than or equal to three we check the number of presses again if we've pressed once we return four if we press twice we return seven and anything greater than two that is three or more presses will give us every single one of the eight states let's compile this and submit this and there we go every single input has been accepted so guys that's the solution to bulb switcher 2 this was a really hard one this is the hardest one of all the bulb switches now we're going to tackle 3 and 4 as well and they're much simpler don't worry about them so let's have a look at them next time